the seafood lamba is just perfect. Now for the final ingredient. You'd never eat plastic, you'd say? Hmm, chances are you already do. The stuff is everywhere. Food has always been a big part of my life. It brings my family closer together, and I love it so much, I've made a living out of it. I'm the host of the number one food show in Malaysia. And this is hashtag Team Nazruddin, my family. Hi, I'm Shani. Hi, I'm Zara. Hi, I'm Zaid. Hi, I'm... Hey! Z Are you serious? You got your own name wrong? No, What's no, no. What's up, cool. Zach? I think I heard about microplastics the first time mm. in a documentary um, that I watched on TV a couple of years ago. And here's Zara's dish. Oh, oh. Good job, Zara. We thought that it was just a problem that we could see. We didn't realize the problem was way, way tinier, micro level, that we were not able to see with the naked eye. It is estimated about 250,000 tons plastic afloat in the sea. It's everywhere. So it means it's also in your food. Plastic doesn't biodegrade or magically disappear. It can break into small particles called microplastic that's smaller than five millimeter. The ocean is full of plastics, and the marine organisms living in this ecosystem often mistaken as their food. So the microplastic end up to our plate. previous report estimated we eat 5 grams of microplastic a week. That's similar to one credit card per week. We eat plastic? No. But we eat home-cooked food. Yep. Does that stay in our stomachs? No. So if this is a week... Wait, how many weeks old am I? <laughs> So at least if we know how the plastic gets in our food... And now that we know, we can actually learn and do something about it. OK, okay. Team Nasruddin? All right. Everybody, come on. Show me... Whoa. We still don't know yet the effects of microplastic to human health. But in the uh, previous 10 years, many researchers all over the world trying to find the real effects to the marine organism, to human health. But what we can conclude here, it is not a good thing to swallow plastic.
We've got to make some real changes around this house. It is our responsibility to raise our children with this awareness and they're looking to us for inspiration. They're looking to us uh, to lead the way. Okay, Team Nazrudin, there's going to be two items. They're going to put it on the table. So you have to choose which item you think has more plastic. Items number one. <laughs> one is prawns, my favourite, mm -hmm. and one is fish. The one that has more microplastics in it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say fish. You're gonna say fish. fish. I'm gonna say fish. I'm, You're gonna say fish. I'm thinking Ooh. fish swim. Ooh. Are you team fish or team prawn? I'm team, team fish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stay here. You're gonna Microplastics stay here. are often found in the digestive tract or guts of marine organisms. In Malaysia, we often eat as a whole. For example, oysters, clam, bivalve, and so on. If you have a choice between shellfish and fish. Do pick fish. Wow! Yes. Thank you. Because normally when we eat the fish, we will remove the gut contents or the digestive tract. That's true. Oh, that's true. Right. This no. can't be happening. I love prawns. No only that. Are my favorite. If you choose to eat shellfish, do remove the guts and the shells. Okay. Next round! Okay. Okay. So we put this in our tea, all right? So there's two different tea bags. And that one is paper, is it? Yeah, it's paper. It's it looks paper. like paper. It feels like paper. Yeah. So I think, well, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here. Oh, I'm sitting, sitting here. here. Everyone's sitting here? <laughs> okay, we made our choice. We made our choice. Nylon tea bags were found to leach billions of microplastics in your cup. Of course, if you choose, the tea leaf without tea bags, it is more preferable. Yay! Item three. Yes. yes. Let's go. Yes. Item three. You ready, guys? Remember to choose the item that you think has more plastic, huh? Cold water versus hot water. <laughs> no. So that's tap water, and that's bottle water. I think the answer is fairly obvious. Which is? Tap water. Yeah. I've got a theory in my head, so I'm gonna sit here. <laughs> we agree that microplastic presence in the tap and bottle waters, but if you could choose the filter tap waters, it is much more better. What? What? But this is water right out of the tap. It's not even filtered. Yes, but at the same time, there's no plastic in the piping system and such. But here, the plastic leaches into the water itself. Now, now we know better, okay? The fact that uh, plastic has entered into our food system, it is a symptom of much bigger problem. Policy makers or the government itself actually play a very important role uh, in reducing uh, plastic waste that ends up in ocean that is mismanaged. We received a lot of complaints from the, the residents on the uh, air pollution, on the river pollution, on the water pollution. We found that all this rubbish, these plastics, are not Malaysian plastics. They come from very far from the developed countries. We share the same ocean. If you uh, move your segregated plastics from one to a least developed world, and then they do not get recycled properly, eventually all this will end up in the ocean. will produce, the more microplastic there will be. Contrary to popular belief, microplastic is not just in the ocean. We're now at one of the most popular spots in Terengganu, 
and we would like to investigate the airborne microplastic. We we'll leave this filter pepper for one hour. This is what we have right now. We have several types of uh, microplastics, such as uh, filament type, thread light, and some fragments. And this is what we inhale every day. I'm going to stop breathing. <laughs> no, but you can't stop breathing. You can't stop breathing. Wow. Are we breathing in plastic right now? I think one of the things that we, we should do is to use less plastic first, uh, use less single-use plastics, reuse your plastics. We have to do our part to ensure that no more plastic goes into our oceans. Because what goes into our oceans goes into the animals, goes into the very environment, goes into the air, goes into the water. And it comes right back to us. Say no to microplastics. No! And I found out in your toilet there are microplastic products as well. Oh, this product has microplastics, skeptical microplastics. What I feel really, really good about now that we know the things that we know is I feel empowered knowing that, yes, Microplastics are already in our environment. They're already in our food, but we can do something about it every single minute of every single day. We can choose how we buy, and we choose what food we eat, and we can also choose how we throw out or manage our waste. And by finding out that we can actually recycle or upcycle, at least we can prevent the cycle from you know, repeating. I don't want to sound too preachy, but after learning what we've learned, uh, we really have to put the message out that, you know, every person should have the responsibility of, when we leave this earth, we're going to leave it a little bit better than when we found it. If every person on earth did that, we would leave a better earth for our children, for our children's children. So, at least we know what we got to do, right? It starts with us. Team Nazruddin. Ooh.